Welcome to More Balancing by Half Reactions for Acidic Solutions. In the last video, we looked at the general method for balancing by half reactions, and in this lesson, we're going to balance another example that looks slightly different. So here we have the oxidation of sulfur in the presence of nitric acid. So there is a strong acid present, nitric acid is present in this, so it's an acidic solution. Frequently, you can come across reactions looking like this, reactions that are unbalanced and also incomplete. This reaction is missing a lot of components that would probably be there, like the water and the hydrogen and the nitric acid, but it shows the key things involved in the reaction. And by looking at this reaction, this one's interesting, because the atoms are already balanced. I have three oxygens on each side, one sulfur, one nitrogen. But the charge is not balanced. There's a negative charge on the reactant side, and there's a neutral charge overall on the product side. The nice thing about getting incomplete reactions like this is that it's frequently pretty easy to isolate the half reactions. So our two half reactions are going to be sulfur becomes SO2, and the second reaction is going to be the nitrate ion becomes nitrogen monoxide. So now that I have my half reactions written, the next step is to always balance them in terms of atoms. And for each of these, the S is already balanced and the nitrogen is already balanced. So I only have to worry about oxygens. And our method for balancing oxygens is to balance it by adding waters. So for this reaction with the sulfur to SO2, I have two oxygens that need to be balanced, so I write in two waters on the other side. For the other reaction, I also need to add two oxygens, but this time to the product side, so I add two waters on this side. That gives me a total of three oxygens on the right and three oxygens on the left. Now every time you add waters, you also have to balance those waters because they add in extra hydrogens. So now let's do that. I added four hydrogens to each of these, so the opposite side gets four H pluses. At this point, the atoms are completely balanced, so we can now balance charge. Starting with the first half reaction, the left side has an overall neutral charge. The right side has four positives, so this is plus four. For the second half reaction, the right side has an overall neutral charge, but the left side has four positives and a single negative, so that's going to give me plus three overall. And just like we did in the last video, we balance charge by adding electrons. And electrons are negative, so they're going to lower the overall charge on one side, and we're trying to get them even. So I got to get this positive four in the first half reaction down to zero. I can do that by adding four electrons. For the second half reaction, I have to get rid of a plus three on the left side. And I do that by adding three electrons. Each half reaction is now balanced for mass, atoms, and charge. Now I just need to get them equal to each other in terms of number of electrons lost and gained. So I take the entire first half reaction and I multiply it by three. And I take the entire second half reaction and I multiply it by four. That will get me 12 electrons in each case. I'm going to rewrite these now and stack them on top of each other so I can combine the two half reactions back into a whole reaction. So here I have the first half reaction and the second half reaction stacked on top of each other, and I'm ready to combine them into a single equation. I can first eliminate a few things. I have 12 electrons here and 12 electrons here, so the same number on opposite sides like I should have. I can eliminate these. And then I would combine everything else. So on the left side of my overall reaction, I have 6 H2O plus 16 H plus ions plus 3 sulfur plus 4 nitrate ions. And that yields on the right side 3 sulfur dioxide plus 12 hydrogen ions plus 4 nitrogen monoxide plus 8 water molecules. Now just like in algebra, I can combine some like terms. So I have H plus on each side. And I only want it on one side, so I can basically subtract 12 hydrogen ions from each side. That's going to get rid of this term, and it's going to change the term on the left. Instead of having 16 hydrogen ions, I subtract 12, so I actually have an overall of 4 hydrogen ions. I can do this same combination with the water molecules. I have 6 waters on the left and 8 waters on the right. This time I'll subtract the 6 on the left side. That's going to completely get rid of this term. And when I subtract 6 on the other side, that's going to let me reduce that one to 2 waters. 
So now I can clean this up a little bit. Four hydrogen ions plus three sulfur plus four nitrate yields three sulfur dioxide plus four nitrogen monoxide plus two water molecules. And this reaction is our overall balanced redox equation for this original reaction, this original incomplete reaction. You can see we now have a couple things written in here. We have water molecules as a product. And you can actually now see the nitric acid. I have four hydrogen ions that go with these four NO3 minus ions. Together that makes nitric acid. But more importantly, the atoms are balanced on both sides and the charges are balanced on both sides. That wraps up our second example of balancing in an acidic solution using half reactions. In the next video of this series, we're going to look at how to balance by half reactions when you have a basic solution. And you're going to see that that looks pretty similar except for one small difference along the way.